Hello and welcome to Canada's National Ballet School. I'm so excited that you're here to dance with me. My name is Ashley and over beside me here is my friend Craig who's going to be playing the piano for us as we move together today. So first off, I'm going to ask that you look around you in the space, that you make sure that you've cleared away any objects or toys and that you've made the space available for you to move. And um, find your feet planted nice and strong beneath you and stretch up your spine. Good. All right. So I think we're going to begin by doing three little tests that are going to help us know that you're ready to learn some dance. The first one's pretty simple. And for it, I'm going to use my drum. So I need you to repeat after me the rhythm I play by clapping your hands. So I'll play first and you clap after me. Let's give it a try. So a simple rhythm to start. Can you clap this rhythm? Your turn. Excellent. Let's try another one. How about clapping this rhythm with your hands? Repeat after I finish. Very good. Okay, so a new challenge. This time, rather than clapping, I want to see if you can repeat that rhythm with your feet. So let's try the same rhythm we just did, but this time echo my, ry my rhythm with your feet. Ready? Oh, you're very good. Okay, let's try another one. Beautiful, okay. So next, I want you to echo my rhythm with your shoulders. Everyone give your shoulders a wiggle. Excellent. So whatever rhythm I play, I need to see that rhythm in your shoulders. Let's try. Okay, what about this one? All right, let's pick a new body part. Mm, what should we pick? Do you have any ideas? How about, let's do hips. So try this one. Bravo! All right, well, I think our ears are definitely ready to dance. Let's make sure that our eyes are ready to follow the movements. So I'll put my drum away, and I'm going to ask you to stand with your feet planted still and your spine very long, and all you have to do is follow me. See if you can match my movements exactly. You're doing good. All right, excellent work. Now the last thing we have to test is probably the most challenging. When we dance, we don't use our voice to tell stories, we use our body. So it's our body language that's going to create and express as we move together. So we're gonna test that by also moving a little bit through the space. So like I said at the beginning, just be aware that the space around you is clear. And our traveling step is going to be a march. Let's see if we can march eight times on the spot without moving yet. So we're going to march our feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I want you to keep your feet very still for eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe uh, Mr. Wingrove can give us some music to practice that. And Mr. Wingrove's mu music is going to have an introduction. So when his music starts, we're going to stand still and I'll give you a ready, set, go. All right, so we'll stand with our feet still and we'll listen for our musical introduction. And ready to march your feet for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Freeze your feet, stop. Very good, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop. Let's try two more times. March those feet. You're doing great. Stop them, freeze. Excellent, one more set. Excellent, freeze your feet. Thank you, Mr. Wingrove. Bravo, dancers, that was excellent. So let's try one more time, and this time you can march through the space 
and you can travel anywhere you like as long as you're being aware and you're using just your body language and not your voice. So once again, we'll listen for Mr. Wingrove's introduction and then we'll begin traveling through the space. Here we go, standing tall, long spines, energetic bodies. Ready? And... Marching feet through the space. March. Freeze your feet. Freeze. Counting to eight. March. Freeze your feet. Still. Two more times. You can march backwards or forwards or even sideways. And freeze. Last one. March. And freeze. Very good, everybody. So let's make it a little more tricky. When we dance, we use our levels. We can dance uh, at high levels, medium levels, and at very low levels. So I'm going to ask Mr. Wingrove, what would it sound like if we were listening to a very high chord on the piano? What does that sound like? Do you hear how high that is? Beautiful. And what about in the middle of the piano? Very good. And how about really, really low? Oh my goodness, that's so low. So let's see if we can make our body match the sounds of the piano. So when Mr. Wingrove plays a high chord, we're going to go high pose. When Mr. Wingrove plays a medium chord, we're going to go medium pose. And when he plays a low chord, low pose. Let's see if we can add that into our marches. So we'll march for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we'll listen for Mr. Wingrove's chord, and it'll tell us how to do our pose. Okay, so we have to be very good listeners because Mr. Wingrove is gonna decide whether we're high, medium, or low. Are you ready to try? Put your feet side by side, grow your spine up tall, open your chest, lift the top of your head, and let's wait and listen for our introduction. Ready? And... Marching feet to start. March, one. Now listen for Mr. Wingrove. That was a high one. Let's listen again. I think that one was low. Let's listen. Medium. Last time. Hi. Very good. Excellent. Let's try that one more time. And this time you can move anywhere you like in the space. And your poses don't have to match my poses. You could have round shaped poses or spiky poses. Your pose is absolutely up to you. All right, so let's have our listening ears ready. Let's not let Mr. Wingrove fool us. Here we go, ready? And marching feet, ready to march. our last one. Let's listen. Beautiful dancers. I think we're ready to learn some movement together. So it is a beautiful spring day outside today here in Toronto. So I thought that we would plant a spring garden. Can everyone take a little seed? A very tiny little seed. You can put it in your hand. Beautiful, and let's plant that seed way down inside the ground. So can you put your seed all the way down, dig a little hole, and plant your seed in the earth? Very nice. So can you help me think of all the things that our little seed is going to need to grow? Can you call out some ideas? What kinds of things do plants need in order to grow and thrive? Yeah, water. Sunshine, so many good ideas. Why don't we start with water? Because you're right, water is something that plants need to grow. So can you take a watering can? Beautiful. And holding your watering can in your hand, let's go from side to side. Side, 
to side, to side, to side. Yeah, so we have to spread the water all across our flower bed. Let's try that again. Go side, to side, to side, to side. And then I'd like to sprinkle water all around my garden, so I'm going to do a little turn on the spot. And I'm going to use my watering can to sprinkle the water all the way around. Shall we try that together again? Ready, set, and grab your watering can. One, and two, three, and four. Spin it around. Spin it around. You can spread your water all over the garden. What are other ways, other than watering cans, that we have water? We can water our plants. Does anybody have a sprinkler at home? Why don't we try a sprinkler? What, do, what kind of shapes do sprinklers make? I think sprinklers sometimes make these big swooping movements. That's beautiful. Try those with me. Let's do a sprinkler up, sprinkler down, sprinkler up, sprinkler down. Does anybody have a sprinkler that sounds like this? Can you do that with your arms? Try that one more time. Mr. Wingrove, do you have a sprinkler like that? Yes. Can I hear it? Yeah. Perfect. All right, so let's review. F we started with our watering can, and we went sway, 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 and sway, and then we spread the water all the way around. Let's do that one again. So two times watering can, sway, and sway, sway. You can sway your way, and you can turn your way, too. Spread the water all around with your watering can. Good. Next is our sprinkler that goes up, up, down, and down. Again, sprinkler fingers are high, and down, and down. We'll do a third one. Sprinkler fingers are high, and down, and down, then get out that sprinkler that goes ta 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 Very good. Mr. Wingrove, could we try that with you? Okay. All right, everyone plant your feet nice and wide. And this time on the introduction, let's get our watering cans ready. And ready to water the plants. Take it in a circle. Go around. Good. Let's sway with our watering cans. Get all the plants, the flowers, the vegetables, and swirl that water around. Good. Sprinklers go up and down. Follow me up. sprinkler that makes a sound. From the beginning again, watering can. One. Good. Swirl it. Good. Sway it. Beautiful. Your way to swirl. Which way do you want to swirl? Swirl any way you like. Down and up. Sprinkler up and down. Sprinkler up and down. Last time, sprinkler. Good. Now, ready? That last one. Whew. That was excellent. I think our little seed probably has enough water now. So, what were the other things we said? that a plant needs. We also said it needs sunshine. So I want you to gather up the sun's rays. Bring them way up over your head and let them shine open. And then you can send energy, like the energy of the sun, out to your friends. Send it out, send it out, send it out, send it out. So we're going to gather. Gather the energy of the sun and send those rays. Shoo! And shoo, and shoo, and shoo. Do that again. Grab the sun, 
bring it up in the sky, let the rays shine, and go shoo, and shoo, very nice, shoo, and shoo. Let's do that a fourth time. Gather the sun, and let the rays shine, and then we'll go shoo, and shoo, and shoo. Mr. Wingrove, can we practice the sunshine part of our dance with you? So on the introduction, let's see if we can e be like a plant ourselves and grow very tall. Ready? And. So we're as tall as we can be. Grab the sun up in the sky. Send them out. Gather the sun. Up in the sky. Go. Two more times. Start low. To go high. I think we should put the two parts of our dance together. So we'll start with our watering can. We'll move on to our sprinkler. And then we'll finish with our sunshine. And at the very end, I think we should show just how our plant is going to grow. So can you come down with me to the floor and let's make a very small shape. So we're low and small like a little teeny tiny seed. So we'll finish our dance by growing into whatever plant we would like to be. So you could be a carrot or a cabbage or a rose. It's totally up to you what you grow into today. So starting small, we're going to let the leaves push through the soil or the stem of the plant push up through the soil. And you're going to decide which way your plant grows. Maybe it'll grow into a pumpkin. Maybe you'll grow into a carrot. It's absolutely up to you, but that's how we're going to finish our dance. So watering can, sprinklers, sunshine, and then we'll come together low to help our plant grow. Are you ready to begin? Show me you're ready by planting your feet under your hips. Show me my you're ready by rolling your shoulders open and back. Lifting your spine up tall. All right, Mr. Wingrove, they're ready to go. Introduction. And grab your watering can. Sway. Spin it. Maybe you want to switch hands for your watering can. What's that like? Watering can, sway. Very nice, everybody. And again. Good, spin your way, your speed. All right, we're getting ready for sprinkler. Low, go up. One more time. And the sprinkler sound goes. Very good. OK, one more time. Sprinkler up. And spray down. Sprinkler up. And spray down. Last one. Make that sprinkler sound. Very good. Sunshine goes up. Open. Rays go. Shine. 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 Sunshine. Find the rays. Two more times. Sunshine. 
shoot it up. Last time. Shoot those rays. Now we're going to go down to make our C, going down into the ground. Make yourself very small. Good, now our plant's gonna grow. Good. Find your final shape for your plant. Maybe you're a flower or a vegetable in the garden. Thank you, Mr. Wingrove. Beautiful dancers. I love all your beautiful flower and vegetable shapes. What great imaginations you have. So to finish up our dancing, I need us all to have a seat, cross legs and tall spines on the floor. Will you join me on the floor? Excellent. So feel your sitting bones connected to the floor. Place your hands on your heart and do a big deep breath in and let it out. Beautiful. Great. Now, can you put your two feet out in front of you? Great. And then get your tickling fingers out. Do you have your tickling fingers? Beautiful. And I want you to send them all the way down to your toes. Go down to your toes and up. Try that again. Go down all the way to your ends of your toes and up. Can you send those tickling fingers down one arm? And down the other arm. Let's take our brushing hands. Can you brush your legs? Brush, brush, brush. Good, brush off one arm. And brush off the other arm. And let's take these legs back to a crossed position. Great, and together we're going to take a few big deep breaths. So I need you to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Last time, breathe in and breathe out. Dancers, thank you for joining me today and for sharing your beautiful creative poses and shapes. It was such a pleasure to welcome you to Canada's National Ballet School. Now it's very important every time we dance together that we say our thank yous. So I'm going to show you a very special way that I like to share my gratitude with my dancers. Can you place your hand on your heart and say, my heart? Place your hand on your forehead and say, my thoughts and my thanks to you. Should we pass our thanks to Mr. Wingrove? Mr. Wingrove, my heart, my thoughts, my thanks to you. And let's do it one more time for each other and all of our dancing friends all across the country. One more time with a nice big voice. My heart, my thoughts, my thanks to you. Thank you, dancers, and I hope to see you to dance together again very soon.